Hello friends, it's been quite a while <laughs> since I last recorded a vlog. I am currently on my way to get a blood test. I went to the doctor a few months ago and found out that I have um, a deficiency in a couple of B vitamins. So yeah, I've been taking the supplements that my doctor prescribed me and hopefully this test today will show that things are back to a better level. I don't know though, um, I'm not feeling super hopeful because I feel like I'm still like have all the symptoms of the deficiency, but hey, who knows. Here we are on a cool bridge. I'd be a great tour guide, huh? <laughs> if you watched the last vlog that I uploaded, you will have seen a little bit at the start of that explaining why uh, my channel has been a bit quiet um, over the past month. It's been a really hard month. I'll tell you more about that in a sec, but let's get this blood test done first, huh? Don't worry, I'm not gonna actually show you the blood test, so you don't have to skip ahead if you're squeamish. <laughs> quick and easy now on my way home to eat something the nurse remembered me from last time too which is pretty impressive honestly because she must have seen hundreds of people in between the last time I had uh, like a blood sample taken and now yeah I honestly wonder if like the um, the stress and everything of the past month will impact the progress that I've been making and improving these vitamin levels so like you would have seen in the last vlog unfortunately my beloved cat Nora passed away what to back up a bit I guess she's been Kind of she's been ill for a while she's had a chronic Ill illness um, ever since we got her they really like kicked in in February of this year she got quite sick and we managed to nurse her back to health and then I had to give her daily medicine um, ever since then which you might have seen as part of my daily routine video if you watch that but yeah sadly that illness like caught up with her basically it's um, feline leukemia virus and it can manifest itself in cats in various different ways and one of them is through a lymphoma. One night I noticed she was breathing strangely and like breathing faster than usual and I thought okay we'll see if she's still doing this in the morning I'm definitely gonna take her to the vet. She was, took her to the vet and they were like you need to take her to the emergency room right away um, which was I don't know I think some part of me knew that that was gonna be the case but it still really sucked to hear. Um, yeah at the emergency room they found fluid in her lungs and they kept it for observation and then rung us and let us know that they had also found a lymphoma and that to give her a chance we would need to start chemo um, basically right then and there. We talked to the vet oncologist about it and decided that we did want to give it a try that um, you know a lot of cats can respond really well to chemo um, and it doesn't like impact them as much as it does on humans so we tried it um, and the tumor responded well like the tumor started to shrink but Nora did not respond well at all she like yeah I think the trauma of the treatment being in hospital and like all the drugs pass passing through such a tiny little body that she had she stopped eating she got very sick very weak and to continue with chemo we would have had to put like a tube in her neck to feed her and just didn't want to do that to her you know that wouldn't have been a fun life for her she wouldn't have been able to like do a little head turny thing that she liked to do so yeah um, we had to make a really fucking hard decision um, and I miss her a lot I know I'll miss her for a very long time I know you'll miss seeing her on vlogs as well um, but yeah this is this is life right this is part of adopting pets is that this can happen oh now I'm crying in public whoops so yeah, um, over the past month I was, you know, dealing with daily vet visits, um, feeding schedules, stress about all of this, and it's been yeah, really, really difficult. And then of course there's the grief and the sadness that, that comes after it. So it has not been the most productive month of work, I'll say that. Um, luckily ConvertKit is very understanding and like, yeah, just a um, really nice place to work when you're going through something like this because yeah, the team really understands I was able to take mental health time off you know when I needed to so that was nice but I feel like I'm finally like getting able to put my head back in the in the game of the the work that needs to be done now um yeah over the past month I really lent into focusing on just small little tasks like little bits of design work here and there because my head was absolutely not in the place for any sort of big strategy stuff, big annual planning, that sort of thing. But it is October now and uh, it is the time for annual planning. So I'm kind of glad that I'm now like 
um, yeah, in a place to be doing that again. Wow, my arm is getting sore. I'm very out of practice with this vlogging thing. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who um, sent kind messages on Twitter and Instagram when I let you know what was going on and for your patience with me over the past month as I have just, you know, not really been consistent at all with YouTube videos. I know I wasn't before that either. Um, it's something I want to work on going into the new year. But yeah, here we are. We're getting back into it. And I'm going to show you a work day for me. A work day where I have zero meetings. Absolutely none. Unless I get back home and find that someone's put one on my calendar between when I last checked and now. But this is a really good thing for me because I have a very long to-do list of stuff that I need to get done before the end of the week. And I have the whole day to do it. So yeah, let's get home, make a coffee, eat some food and start the day. Okay, I'm home and I'm looking at my to-do list and I think there's four key things that I need to get done today. I need to start, like kick off and circulate a document where we're gonna um, work together on a definition of a professional creator, which is the like target audience we go after at ConvertKit. We really need to like write something succinct to describe that so that everyone has the same understanding. Cause right now I feel like there's a lot of assumptions being made and everyone sort of like does know but has their own idea of it and that that could help. I need to look at our annual planning doc. Uh, we did an exercise in our team meeting yesterday and just sort of like pull together themes of what the team want to focus on next year. Oh god I think my list is more than four things. I need to move forward on the like storyboard for a motion graphic about our new email editor that's launching soon and I need to give some feedback and also share um, some directions on where we're at with the new illustration styles that um, our wonderful graphic designer Holly has been working on. That was what I was talking about in the last vlog. That vlog was filmed a long time ago so it's um, yeah funny that this project is still going on. So I can share an update with you in, in this one on how it went. But yeah, oh yeah, crap, okay, five things on my list. The last one is something that I think I started talking about like many many vlogs ago. It's been going on for months this like project I guess. We really want to pick out a new brand font for ConvertKit and I'm just feeling overwhelmed and like all of the um, options we have so far none of them are quite right so I did this tweet asking if anyone like specializes in just helping find the right font um, and I got a lot of responses so I need to go through uh, all my DMs, all those tweet replies and um, yeah see if there's someone in there who could help us find the right font. So okay five things on my list. We can do this and coffee will help. For anyone wondering Mr. Seb here has been doing just fine. You've been getting a lot more attention though haven't you? Um, which normally he quite enjoys, but apparently not today. <laughs> Got one thing checked off my list. I wrote up and shared that document, working document, in all the places that it needed to be shared, so that's good. Got some momentum going, but I'm gonna break for lunch now and like ruin all that momentum, I guess, um, and we'll do the rest for the afternoon. coffee down on the side of my desk because um, I've had a few problems recently <laughs> where I've yeah spilled a whole cup of coffee. Once I spilt it um, behind my keyboard and it went all over my um, audio interface and everything and all over like the electrical box where everything is plugged in <laughs> under my desk. Not good. And then um, earlier this week um, as you can see over here my uh, mechanical keyboard is in pieces because I spilled coffee all over that so I had to take all the keys off to clean underneath them. I've cleaned the board but it's still like um, behind some of the keys. Yeah see they they need some cleaning because I like as soon as I spilled the coffee I turned it upside down to make sure it didn't go into the into the electricals itself. In other news um, what these keys are sitting on top of is some new art that I've got for my walls. I'm planning on extending this gallery wall which goes all the way around um, over onto this wall too um, and then potentially over onto this corner over here just like why not fill up the whole office you know there's there's only a little bit of wall to go. So yeah these are a few that I have to go up there and I particularly love this one. 
synthesizers. I have no idea what this says. Um, so if anyone speaks, I believe this is Japanese, at least some form of Japanese kanji, let me know <laughs> what it says. <laughs> All right, I think we require, what's the headphones? There they are. Um, headphones for task number two. I'm gonna play some music and uh, I'm gonna get into that annual planning, um, which we've done in a fig jam. Let me show you it from a high, like a zoomed out view. So everyone on the team added what outcomes they wanna drive, work towards driving with our brand in 2023. We also noted what data needs would have to help us like achieve those outcomes. And now I'm gonna come down here, like distill these outcomes so that everyone can start putting in potential projects that could help lead to those outcomes that we want to achieve. This is the first time we've done annual planning this way and um, it seems to be going well so far. It's definitely too early to tell, but it did lead to a great conversation in our meeting this Thursday. And um, I just want to zoom in on this one quote I wrote down <laughs> from Henry on my team. I'm sure he won't mind me sharing this. Nothing is impossible if you have enough clout. I love it. <laughs> Maybe that's not so funny out of context, but yeah, I just really liked that he said that. <laughs> All right, it took me a while, but I'm done distilling the outcomes that we want to drive for in 2023. Got it down to like seven core outcomes that we're driving towards that the, were the themes from a lot of these ones up here. So the next step will be for everyone on the team, including myself, to go through and add in ideas for what projects and systems and experiments we could um, run to uh, drive towards these outcomes in the next year. I've written them all as like statements that will hopefully be true for us at the end of the year. Um, so yeah, I get so much joy, like an unreasonable amount of joy in setting up a good fig jam and just like working in fig jam in general. I tell you what, if Figma didn't already sponsor this channel, then I would be reaching out and saying they should because uh, yeah, this, this tool is epic. I probably use fig jam more now than I use you know, actual Figma design now that I'm in management and um, it is fantastic. I love it. All right. It is now also quarter to four. So uh, the day is getting away from me a little, but at least I now have one more thing done. Um, what am I going to tackle next? Let me look at my list. I think I needed to get onto the motion graphic one because I could easily see it being the one that I like leave till last and then run out of time for. And it's one that there's actually a deadline on. So um, yeah, we'll do that next. <laughs> felt like I needed um, a little motivation boost to get through the afternoon. I'm really struggling to focus. It's 20 past five now, still working on this um, animation thing. Definitely a risk of not finishing my to-do list today. Come on, chocolate, work. <laughs> Okay, that took way longer than I would have hoped, but I've just wrapped up um, documenting my thoughts on that animation. And now I honestly think the only other task for my to-do list I'm gonna get done today is uh, moving forward with the illustration stuff and giving some feedback. So when Holly starts her day on Monday, she can um, get onto that. Whew. I've also had a, a last minute addition to my to-do list, which is that I need to replace um, some of our subscriptions with a new credit card. So <laughs> just a fun little admin task to end the week, you know? Okay, let's get into this. It's 6.30 and although I don't have meetings today, at seven o'clock there is a call, like a goodbye last hangout call for one of my workmates who's leaving, which I wanna join. Uh, so I don't know, what do you think? Can I get both the illustration feedback and the like admin task done in the next half hour so that I can fully sign off after that? Make your bets down below in the comments right now, even though you're only gonna have to wait like 30 seconds probably to see if you're correct or not. But still, take your guesses now, people. I'll wait. No, I won't wait. I've got to get this thing done. I'm getting into it. <laughs> Boom, 6.59 on the freaking dot and I finished what I needed to finish. So I may not have gotten done the five things that I wanted to do on my to-do list today, but I did get five things done. So we will call that a win for a no meeting day. I think, yeah, this was a super productive day. I got a lot done. Let me show you a few just quickly because I have to go to this um, leaving party thing. But um, these are a few of the illustration things that Holly has been trying and I'm really excited about. I think they look really cool. So we've got like, um, 
yeah, more texture and outlines going on. Um, I like this idea of like offset color where it's like colored in but moved over to the side a bit. And there's all these different styles of accents we can do around something because um, naturally the tendency is to put like, where is it here, like a spark, right? Is the easiest one you can think to do. Um, and I was like, what else could we do? And Holly was like, boom, 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 boom. And so I love it. I think this is super cool. As a quick reminder, this is the kind of thing that we were doing previously. So it was very like tonal illustrations. We want to move to something that feels um, more like sketch notey and more cool and creative. I talked about that a lot more in the last vlog. So you can go and watch that if you want to find out more. But yeah, I'm really happy with the progress that we've made. Um, Holly's based in New Zealand. And so basically Every day she sends me an update on what she's done um, and I send feedback back. We tend to like swap blooms back and forth or I'll just leave comments in Figma. And yeah, I think this project is going well. I still want to do a little bit more exploring before we start picking exactly what we want to go with. But yeah, I think we're going to end up with a cool result. All right, I am now officially late to this leaving party. So I'm going to leave the vlog here and uh, go and join that and say goodbye to my workmate. But um, you win if you wrote in the comments that you thought I would get those two tasks done within my last half hour because I did. It's been a really good productive Friday. Um, it's going to be a pretty chill weekend I think. It's an early Formula One race this weekend and I'm going to get my hair done because I am sick of it looking like this and being this color. I want it to be pink again so in my next video hopefully you'll see me back with my you know on brand colorful hair but thanks for joining me for this first vlog back. Thanks again for your patience while I took the time that I needed to and uh, yeah, I'll see you in future vlogs and hopefully start up live streams again sometime soon as well because um, I miss the co-working club a lot. All right, see you then.